you were briefly in a, a mime group before. Um, yes, the Lindsay Kemp beca- Mime Company. Yeah, before becoming a, a solo musician. Yeah. Um, well, actually, what, it, it all kind of ran. I, I tended to be. Uh, I seem to be kind of involved in so many things all at the same time, which is still how I kind of operate today. I just, I can't keep my fingers out of uh, any pies. Well, are there things that you um, learned or became aware of through that mime group that you said, yeah, that I really like that. I'm going to, I'm going to work with that in my own performances. I think everything that I learned about stagecraft um, and and carrying through, creating a through point for a, a theatrical device uh, I think uh, Lindsay Kemp really introduced me to the work of Jean Genet, and and through that, um, I kind of kept re-educating myself about other um, prose writers and, and poets. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, he he instigated, he opened an awful lot of doors for me in terms of a new approach to what I could do. I could never have done what I did without being in, uh, involved with Lindsay Kemp's company. Um, <laughs> While we're on the subject of mime, I, ha- mime, I have yeah. to mention that in, in the Ziggy movie, you do do those hands walking across the glass wall oh, yeah. thing. <laughs> I know. That's my proudest moment of the Ziggy Stardust movie. The dreaded mime thing. <laughs> yeah. What well, meme over meme. here, isn't it? <laughs> I know. It's so utterly abhorred over here. I, you know, we didn't know that in England because we love it over there. <laughs> and uh, it broke our hearts when we came over here and realized that memes were kind of they tantamount to some kind of artistic <laughs> criminals. 